Hey guys, I am starting to put up the blocking for my upper cabinets. That's where the bottom of the upper cabinets will go. I don't know if I need blocking for the lower cabinets to screw into. If all the cabinets were screwed together to each other, and maybe in a stud here or there, I don't even know if that's necessary, with the granite countertop on, on the top of it, holding it down, along with stuff contents in the cabinets, is there any real reason to screw the bottom cabinetry to blocking against the wall? I just, I don't get it. I, mean, I could see if I was driving a car through here and I could bump it or something, but those cabinets aren't going to go anywhere. Correct me if I'm wrong. Anyways, I'm using my pocket jig for the first time and uh, really like that baby. Making some pocket holes here. But what I wanted to show you, I'm betting some of you have never heard of these. So this is a Phillips, right? And I got a square bit here. And this is my favorite kind of drive, is the square drive. I don't like Phillips. I don't like flathead. They seem to, to strip a lot. But uh, I believe this Phillips with the square drive in the center is called a Japanese JIS, Japanese Industrial Standard or something like that. And I also believe that with these, there's a dot next to the See the dots there? One on bottom, one on top. I believe that designates a Japanese Phillips. And this is my favorite drive. Um, and I just, by luck, ended up with these. I didn't, you know, I just grabbed a box of, of uh, you know, screws that I needed. These are being used for the outside, so they're coated. And the length is what I went for. I really didn't pay attention to the drive, but I'm real happy to see that this has the Japanese Phillips. So reply in the comments and let me know if you've ever heard of Japanese Phillips or let me know if you just learned something. Okay, see you later.